Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is episode 2 of uh, showing off worlds on the PS4. This is another world that I have um, that I made on the PS3 and I've just uploaded it. Um, well, it's uh, I it's one of my first worlds I started on creative. I like it a lot. I just basically built onto a village and just there's a lot of D signs I think you can guess what that stands for and no it's not what you're probably thinking which is the dirty one but it's Dargan JD initials and uh, I've basically just built a big city put lava streams around it to stop anyone getting in and put quite a few cannons around the area and uh, there's also a castle and a spaceship that I'll show you at the end of the video and maybe show you some of the defense sequences so to start with we've got the um, bedrock area here a uh, pretty hidden thing but we've got this area some of you might guess what it is some of you might not but it's actually lava I can't remember what it's called now something to do with lava but you have to start spawning side to um, get it going so first you uh, this is meant to be a cannon but still haven't finished that so if you flip this switch here, you can obviously hear the pistons working there. Can't really be bothered um, opening all the doors, but basically, there you go. That comes up and it's all got pistons underneath. And, uh, well, that's the entrance. And you go through here, you come through this little wooded area, and then you got a big flag over there. Some of the... Um, Villagers' houses were here, some of them were. I've just built them to look like villagers' houses. So we've got, obviously, this um, this wasn't here, this bridge. Uh, these houses were, but obviously villagers don't care about stairs, so I bu built the stairs. And then I've extended it. I um, didn't build this. I didn't do any of that, actually, so my only guess is my sister. And um, got villager's house in there we got a uh, flag over there more villagers houses a lot of villagers I built this tried to make it blend in got um, food and stuff in here Th all this has been well put in no coal though it's like a bar area I think it looks pretty good then we got a church which I'll show you in a minute so this is this meant area. to be a graveyard I'm not sure if you can see it I can't I can really, but well, it's not that good. This is a um, cannon, obviously, <laughs> it's been used. <laughs> and then we got, again, no idea what that is. My sister built that. Weird, weird thing there. Then we got the church that I built. Oh, they're obviously praying in here. Altar and stuff like that. I like, I like this. It looks pretty good. So we got the cross. Which I like. I'm gonna kill these villagers because they are they're getting quite annoying. Then we got another portal in there. I built that. Don't know why. Then we got like this was meant to be um, a factory like the other one, uh, but I kind of changed it into a town hall. Don't know what. And we got like this is where all the goods are, good stuff is kept. Um, all the diamonds and all that. In here we have like a little lobby area. Then we've got like the town hall in here. You can do speeches, maybe a movie night. Then if we go upstairs, follow this guy. Uh, we've got a library. And then we got um, like a little reception area. And then this is my office that I made for me. I sit there, I've got the um, submarine in the background with a lighthouse. we got don't know what it's up here that's up there nothing really just a little terrace bit I quite like that and we go through here we've got a boardroom or like council boardroom I guess to run the area then out here we've got a um, terrace and outside the terrace I don't know why I keep writing my name but I've got my name on everything that's why absolutely no idea then we got the um the big thing chimney 
this is where like you could say an incinerator you come in here for all the stuff you don't like again couldn't really be made of wood all the way i don't know why this bit's made of wood but it is then uh so if we come back out here we have we've got Stop. another um cannon here just more stuff Lots, lots, lots of villagers, and I didn't even spawn them, so I don't know what's going on there. Another villager's house. Crowded streets today. Then we got the uh, theatre. So we got like a little area you can go. Theatre. This is a converted villager's house that I converted into a theatre. Usually it was just this bit, but then I kind of added that bit on. And. Okay, so we're at the castle now. This is this is basically the place that we would run to if we um, wanted to get away. There's lots of booby traps around, and if there is more than two people or two people or more in the castle, it is I find it I would find it very hard to get into unless you just built blocks and was like one of those douches that does that. Uh, basically you run over here you're looking here to see if there's anything and this is the exact point that if you can see there are archers here that would fire that you can fire from inside the castle and they usually land around about over here and so whilst you're over there that usually happens see if um, TNT is on alright I'm not gonna save it so oh hang on a minute might just check it's disable auto save it yeah that'd be helpful Okay, <laughs> oh, I could have made a big mistake there. Anyway, if we come through here, just screw that. Obviously, that just gonna blow up. You get stuck here as well. That would usually kill you, but because it's bedrock, don't blow up. You, then you'll get up here. That found me really annoying, trying to get up here. That was annoying, but obviously, if you were smart, you wouldn't even go up the ladder, you go up the grass. Here, this would also get a nine because whilst you're trying to get up here, there is a TNT block up here that can be set alight and then fall down, blow you up, or just people shooting at you. Then once you're in here, the walls distract you, obviously, and then you got that thing shooting at you, but kind of like a distraction on walls. Then once you get through here, this would be also hard. If there's two people up there, let's just show you. If there's two people up here, here is uh, two buckets of lava, pour lava down there, they ain't going nowhere unless they can mine through that, but it takes a while to mine through that anyway. And if you want them to come through, you just press the lever, and that lets them through. Then upstairs, there is um, a lever that opens this wall here, and there are usually monsters in there, but I put it on peaceful so there's no monsters. Then you get through here, then you can go up here, once you find a ladder and then eventually you're at the front door so once you're at the front door you are here you've got to mine through that which takes a while don't know how you're going to get through there i guess you have to jump and whilst you're doing all this there is lava falling down from the ceiling which i'll show you from a, in a minute once you get through here because this goes all the way down into a lava pit but once you get through there you can mine through that door Obviously it shows fire, uh, and then once you go upstairs, well there isn't really an upstairs, but it's like going the wrong way here, go across here, this is the roof, or kind of like the roof, if you do eventually get, well they do get in, you can basically just run across here, jump off, and you don't die because, well it's water, so you don't die off that, so that's kind of like an escape route, here is that lava thing I was telling you about, that you can uh, throw down, and then you can watch them burn, which is, always nice to watch so basically it just comes down for a second layer of lava which means that if they run through two pieces of lava they get screwed and that's like in panic mode so I can't really be bothered well actually I will I'll just go through here alright so once we're in the tower you can pretty much see everything go up here now this is the last bit of survival, is retreat to the um, spaceship. So if you retreat to the spaceship, you press that as you're going up, obviously. You can hear dynamite, just keep going, and I'll show you what happened. It's just basically blown the ladder up, so it's going to take them a while to rebuild that. 
So then you got even more time to get up here. Just do it quickly. And then you're up here. And then you put this one. And then you run around and then you run, 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 run. Then that blows up. So you can use these pillars to hide behind and uh, basically shoot them whilst they're coming at you. Then you can funnel them in through here. Obviously, arrow will kill you. Then you can run through here. And this is the inside of the spaceship. So we'll go up to the cockpit first. Up here. Obviously, there has to be someone in the cockpit for you to let you in but you can go outside onto the solar panels you can basically go outside anywhere on this ship if you want to and then again can't be bothered waiting and go through these you got like a little area where people sit and then you've got the cockpit itself which you can see around area and then up here or down here should i say is the area where you fire arrows don't know which one it is let's see if it's that one did that fire an arrow? Like I said, oh, no it didn't. Yeah, right, that one blows up, obviously. There we go, there's the arrow firing. Can't really see it. But I'll basically show you what's happened. As they're running across, blows everything up. Like I said, it didn't really go all the way through because all this is filled with dynamite. But I don't think it's gonna take a while to rebuild that as well. So we'll go back downstairs. Whoops. Uh, we'll go downstairs and see what's down there. So downstairs we've got the, uh, this is the top floor of the spaceship. We've got the kitchen area here. Kitchen stuff. Well, if you can call that kitchen, a little sitting room area. Like I said, everything around here is just full of supplies. Because obviously you're going to last up here a while. This is like a fridge freezer area. We've got all raw meats, all coal, raw meat again. Uh, fruit and stuff so that's like a fridge freezer area and we come around here I love this bit so I, I love those tables and um, this goes outside and then you can do like pretend or role player work on the uh, spaceship which I like to do looks pretty good at night the area down there and then we can um, go back in here this I think is the bedrooms yeah this is bedrooms at the front of the ship so, yeah, <laughs> that's that. Bump beds and stuff. And then if we go downstairs, we've got bathrooms, I think, and more storage. Storage of portions, building supplies. Oops, don't want that. Then we got in here, we got, oops, we got the uh, sinks, and as I showed you before, shower. Probably already seen it before, but I like it. Then um, we come through here, again outdoor, fixing spaceship stuff. Then we got the armory in here, no door, which usually doesn't help. Lots of arrows because that's the only thing you're going to fight them for. And uh, just basic supplies there. Not really sure what, I sh what I'm doing with this one. I think this is just to check on what was going on. I wasn't sure to put a nether portal in here or something. Really don't know what should go in here, so I just made it glass floor see what's going on down there and well I think that's it for the spaceship yeah so that's the spaceship I I really enjoy making spaceships it does look pretty cool I do like making them and well that's just to stop people from killing you uh, we'll go down here we've got two more things to show you well three more actually but well two more we'll say because there's nothing in the lighthouse that is the lighthouse. Alright, we don't need to say that anymore. Not sure if there's any lights down here. Yeah. Right, this is the submarine. This is my the thing that I've recently done. I haven't really done much with it. Nothing in here. This is tornado uh torpedoes, not tornadoes. Torpedoes fire through there, or you can fire yourself through there. Then you come in here. You got bedrooms, sim simple dormitories, and then in here you have the engine. I'm just gonna say it's the end. So thanks for watching my Minecraft show off video. What you're watching now is a taster of Stunts 5. Special shout out to Alex and thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next video which will be Stunts 5.